Hey everyone, welcome to Marketing by John. You know what I don't understand is the still obsession by marketers and brands and agencies over banner ads. Uh, I just don't understand it. It's one of the worst ROIs that I have seen in modern marketing, uh, aside from maybe TV commercials. Uh, you know, old school, more tra traditional network TV commercials. Um, or radio ads, for that matter. However, even radio ads are getting better when they're when they're like live reads from people who are, uh, who are like celebrities, you know, local celebrities or even national celebrities. But the point is, banner ads, one of the worst ROIs. Yet still, there's billions of dollars spent on banner ads. I wonder if I can look up what the current spend was in 2020. How much was spent on banner ads in 2020 let's see what it says mm -mm 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 -mm. political ads banner advertising forecast let's look at this this is from statistia they're they're pretty reputable reputable ad spending 59 billion dollars holy moly um well, there you go well, it says projected in 2021. I don't know if it says what it was actually in 2020. Here we go. Here we go. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, here we go. Uh, banner In 2020, banner advertising on mobile was 22.9, almost $23 billion. Banner advertising on desktop was $30.3 billion. Together. We've got a whopping $53 billion spent on banner ads. One of the worst ROI, uh, I would say modern ROI-producing uh, uh, marketing strategies out there. Now, I'm going to get a lot of from this probably, but you have agency. Th listen, the reason why banner ads are, uh, they have so much spending is because they were a great digital marketing tool back in the early 2000s, before social media advertising ex existed or influencers existed. And it just got so ingrained, just like TV commercials and radio and traditional media got so ingrained in the practices of agencies and, and marketers that they're still hanging on by a thread. But not only are they poor performers, which I don't even need to talk about data, and I'm not going to here. You can DM me if you want our you know statistics or something like that i can i can send you our team's data on banner ads because we certainly have done them uh, we've pretty much stopped all of them recently because they're they're performing so poorly um but the last time we did it i believe it was retargeting we, we were focusing mostly on retargeting but it's it's such a poor performer if you just think about why it would be such a poor performer so most of the time, a banner ad is going to pop up interrupting you from the content that you want to be reading. It's mostly reading. Um, so it'll split up a blog post uh, or an article that you're reading on entrepreneur.com or inc.com or ESPN.com or whatever it might be, right? That's where most of these media companies get their money is advertising. That fuels their journalism, which you know, is a vicious cycle, right? So they, ha they have to put this advertise these, these advertisers in front of you in order to pay for the journalism. You're seeing lots more companies going to more of a membership model. A lot of the, like, New York Times and Washington Post, they're, they're, they're asking their readers to um, join as a member to read their full content uh, catalog in exchange for less advertisements. And that's because people hate these banner ads. Um, we hate seeing them. Of course, you could catch one person in the right place at the right time who's like, ooh, that's a beautiful pair of shoes. Maybe you will click over there and get it. It's so rare for that to actually happen, though. Now, let's paint this picture, okay? Um, oh, one more thing is these devices, this Apple particularly, is updating their privacy controls so that people can literally turn off or it, the, the, the systems will prevent you from seeing things that you don't like to see, particularly banner ads. They're, they're in this whole heated debate right now with Facebook because of this, right? So 
Not only are people pissed off when they see banner ads, but technology and platforms are starting to ban banner ads. And so spending $53 billion on them is not a good investment. Let's take a million dollars. Let's, pre let's pretend you're spending a million dollars a year on banner ads. Let's say you're doing it in the most efficient way possible, which is probably retargeting. If you take that million dollars and you compare the ROI that you're getting, trackable ROI from banner ads, it's generally going to be pretty low when you compare it to more like uh, targeted paid search or, or social. Um, and you reallocated it to something a little bit more with the times. Culture, people, uh, especially the younger community, they want engagement. They want to feel something. Okay, They don't want to be interrupted from what, whatever it is they want. So let's say you, you re reallocated a million dollars to influencer marketing. And you went out and partnered with, uh, let's say, 100 of the best influencers for your particular audience, meaning they're great, they love your product and your service, and they also have a very engaged user uh, base or audience base. You went out and you paid them to work with them. You, you sponsored them, you, you, um, you, know, you, you worked with them uh, to start posting and utilizing your content. Your ROI from that, from tapping into an already existing audience of engaged people that love the person you're working with, the ROI on that is going to be five times at least as good, probably more like 10 times or, or, or more. So your money is going to work for you better over on here. Let's say you did, it, you did it a different way. You took that million dollars and you went over and you started creating content because content is king in today's day and age. Um, it's queen also. It's the whole damn court. And you paid a firm or a group of people or employees or whatever to come in and create content for your brand. You, you'll be getting content, video, design, pictures, possibly even audio for podcasts, um, or even tapping into the new platform Clubhouse, which is an audio-only platform, and you spent that million dollars there, not only is all that content going to stay up forever if it's posted organically, but it will, you will learn from it. You can repurpose it, and you can re-edit it, and you can up optimize it, and you can post it again. It can be shared. You can put it into emails. You can put it onto Facebook, Instagram, TikTok, Snapchat, LinkedIn, Clubhouse maybe, podcasts if it's audio. You can put it everywhere. You can send it out in text messages. So your money is going to be better spent there. Even if one of those channels doesn't provide the ROI, one of those 10 different channels will. So this podcast, this I guess the show is just me pleading with everybody out there to rethink your banner ad strategy because it's not a good one. It's not as good as so many other things out there that you could be doing. Uh, and if you're going to do a banner ad strategy, make sure that you're just not doing it in a programmatic fashion where it's just blanketing over AI powered, you know, I think this website's good and, and blasting it everywhere. Even if you're one of the big dogs, even if you're one of the GMs or um, you know, monster companies, Toyotas, or, or somebody who's, who's doing tons of banner ads. Even if you're that, even if you're that kind of company, you have the disposable income to spend on banner ads, just realize it's going to start getting blocked. It pisses people off, and you're much better off by doubling down on the things that you're probably already doing. You're probably already doing influencer marketing. You're probably already doing content marketing. So just reallocate that dead budget over to those that are working better. Please. Whew. Anyways, if you disagree with me, comment below. Let's start a debate. And if you loved this uh, show, whether you're watching this on YouTube or you're listening to this on the podcast platforms, please leave me a review. Um, that's the only way that I can get this show out there. Uh, but I would love to chat and engage with you. So you can head over onto LinkedIn, uh, find me there, shoot me a DM, or comment below one of these posts. And if you just want to chit, 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 chat, uh, DM me on Instagram or Twitter, and we'll start there. Thanks, everyone. We'll see you next time.